Good morning, Chantilly. I'm A. Himalayan. And I'm Thayne Pashveen. Today's Thursday, January 14, 2021. And here are your morning announcements. Today is an A day with LS5 and 6. Seniors, please complete the Google form located in the description below to decide what teacher you would like to speak at graduation at the, as a keynote address. The deadline for this forum is Friday, January 15th at 3 p.m. There will be no school Wednesday, January 20th for Inauguration Day. The Girls Lacrosse Interest Meeting will be tomorrow, Friday, January 15th at 3 p.m. You can use the Google Classroom code located in the description below to access the meeting link. Girls Varsity Gymnastics compete at home tomorrow, Friday, January 15th at 6 p.m. versus Oakton and Herndon. Varsity Swim and Dive competes away tomorrow, Friday, January 15th at 6 p.m. versus Madison. The following students place in the top five in the TSA virtual fall events. This advances them to the state competition in May. Digital video production. First place, Nicholas Chung, Rithwick Arabelli, Sri Katragata, Alex Poe, Rishi Seraf, Siddharth Tiberwala. Second place, William Baird, Justin Bettle, George Hackham, Jordan Hune, Caitlin No, Alexander Thompson. We have Mania Putella in fourth place. For extemporaneous presentation, we have Megona Vassaretti in second place. For prepared presentation, we have Varna Selva Kumar in fifth place. For promotional design, we have Shruti Kalathar in first place. And for STEM careers, we have Michael Owens in third place. Structural engineering and design. First place, Yasmin Elagali and Sunithi Sundaraman Belvizi. Second place, Tanvi Danda Parikansara. Structural Design and Engineering. First place, Vendant Manjal and Gurinder Vasanta. Now, let's go to Lizzie and check in on one of our winter sports teams. The Chantilly Gymnastics team has managed to bounce back this season despite uncertainty about our school reopening. Here they are to tell us how it's going. The season's been pretty good. Um, we had a short lead up to our first meet. We didn't get a lot of practice in because of the holidays and the snow days that we had that shut down the building but we're pretty excited to continue with the rest of the season, so. Because of COVID and everything, it's kind of hard to like expect much because we don't have as much time in the season. So right now, um, our goals are just to stay safe, have fun, enjoy the season, and hopefully to have some of our girls and some of my teammates play. Number one is to win districts. That's our goal every year. But for the most part, it's to just finish the season injury-free for everybody. Um, and just to get the most people possible to compete. So before we go into practice, we have to do a COVID form and they take our temperatures from our car and then we walk in with our mask on and we have to leave with our mask on too. But while we practice, we can take our mask off while we social distance. And meets is different because there aren't any like non-parent spectators. So like we can have parents for the home meets, but can't have them for away meets. We have to wear a mask anytime you're not competing. But other than that, it's not too much different than it would be normally. We weren't able to have any team bonding events so far because of COVID. Last year, we usually do like a team sleepover or like one time we had a team dinner, but this year we weren't able to do anything. Our team is really close in previous years. We have a lot of returners. I would say it's harder to be closer with some of the freshmen and the new people who tried out this year just because we don't know them as well and you can't really get close to them. So one of my favorite parts of uh, gymnastics is the team. We are really supportive and we're always cheering on everyone during each event and even though we like compete separately we're still a team sport and we have a lot of fun. Thank you and good luck this year. This has been Lizzie Stone and Carolina Miscote for the Nightly News. Now back to you. The Chantelier wrestling team is doing great this year. Let's go to Mary for more information about the season so far. Wrestling is in full swing here at Chantilly. I talked to some coaches and students about their season so far. Let's see what they have to say. Hi, my name is Logan Parrish, senior this year. I've wrestled all four years at Chantilly. Uh, this year is a little different with COVID because we have to make sure we're spread out. We have to wear a mask at practice until we're wrestling our one partner. Same goes for meets. We have to wear our mask until we wrestle our one opponent. Team this year, we're doing good in the room, getting in practice. We're off to a little rough start with our first meet, 
but we're going to come back. I'm just really looking forward to getting close to my guys for the last year. I'm Coach Weeder. I'm the wrestling, the head wrestling coach here at Chantilly High School. We are just getting started with our season this year. It is a uh, little shorter this year because of uh, COVID and we will only have um, either single dual meets or tri meets against two teams. We usually have met a number of large competitions and competitions in different parts of the state. The guys and girls on the team did a great job getting ready for the season. Um, we've been doing conditioning a couple times a week. As soon as we were allowed to by the county, we started doing conditioning outdoors. We had a lot of running um, on the track, on the fields, on the bleachers. I'm really looking forward this year to seeing how uh, our team develops, seeing how some people who without as, with not a whole lot of experience, uh, how they improve and how they put all the hard work they're doing um, to good use on the mat. I think it's going to be a great year. I'm for Nick. Us. I'm a senior on the wrestling team, uh, and I've been wrestling since I was a freshman. We have some good wrestlers on our team, and a lot of young athletes who haven't had much varsity experience. And uh, you know, it comes with experience. So over time, I think they'll develop into some really great athletes. What I'm looking forward to the most is the tournaments at the end of the year. All the duels, all of our matches up until that point are basically just preparing us for the tournament uh, so we can go out there and win a region title or, a, or even a state title. Good luck at your upcoming meets. This has been Mary Sherman for the Nightly News. Now back to you. Course selection is right around the corner. And as you look at the vast amount of electives Chantilly has to offer, Take into consideration the nightly news as one of your choices. Broadcast is not like other classes. There's not the traditional homework. There's not a lot of reading. There's, it's just a very different class. But you learn some really important skills. That ability to communicate, to collaborate, to think creatively, that will always be something that will stand you in good stead no matter what you do. Well, that's all we have for you today, Chantilly. This has been A Himalayan. And Therine Tashfi, reminding you to stay positive, stay safe, and have a great day. And we'll see you next to us.